Hi everybody! We're at Grelia today and normally I fly a Geo 6 which is a low ENB wing. Um, I'm going to try Andre's high ENB, the Swift 5 today. I have flown it once or twice before but I really didn't like the feel of it. I felt like it was seesawing a lot more. So I'm just going to do a bit of ground handling first and just see if I can get used to it and see what it's like flying a high ENB and whether it's appropriate for me or not. There he is. <laughs> I think the wind is uh, slow, no? Yeah, slow. It's, a, it's a bit too weak, yeah. I think what it seems to me is this wing needs a lot of brake pressure. Like, it looks like it's warped to the back end. Yeah. But it needs a lot of brake pressure just to stop it from over, overshooting me. Yeah, I think because we're on top of takeoff, the wind is uh, a little bit angled like this. So the so the the wing wants to sit instead of sitting above you, wants to sit a bit more in front. But yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes I do feel like I have to catch it with a lot of brake. It takes a lot more brake just to keep it where you want it, rather than it just being like sitting here and comfortably doing it. It constantly feels like it's on the verge of going too far forward or, or flopping back yeah. and I think that's obviously it doesn't do that in flight but I've not felt comfortable when I've flown it in passing why don't you I haven't tried this myself but just try to release the brake a bit to where you'd be normally would be and see if it just wants to sit a little bit more forward than normal I know it's boring, but I feel more comfortable just for a few minutes of holding it up. Oh, it's the classic get to know your wing scenario, isn't it? Yeah, just because I think maybe I was... I think I always just panic when I'm not in a safe, what I deem to be a safe environment. So I, uh, when it's, before when it was going left, I was doing like a strong the other side and yeah. maybe I just needed to adjust gradually rather than yeah, it and, being a... Yeah, and also... Dun, dun, dun. Move the leg. <laughs> it's the one way to see how comfortable someone is in a certain situation is how much they move their legs when ground handling. So it looks like I don't know if you can see but that line of darker water on top and lighter water on the bottom has been getting closer and closer to the coast. And usually that means stronger wind. So maybe it'll get flyable in a bit. I like it a bit better. Hola! <laughs> He's happy. Yeah, there's nothing on the right. It feels like there might be some little thermals, there's tiny little bubbles when you go that end. So you feel like you're going up, but you immediately go down straight after. I think it's turbulence. You threw it. Um, yeah, I was just about to say, I can't tell whether it's the wing or whether it's the day, but I still feel like this is way more unstable. It feels more unstable in the air than I'm used to with my wing. You mean it talks but, more, it gives you more feedback? Yeah, it's more like, Bumpy. it feels less steady. I can't explain it in any other way. I'm just having a little break. So Andre is gonna see if it's picked up enough for him to have a fly. <laughs> Noisy buggers. 
don't think so. <laughs> Everyone else has landed and Gemma's the only one that she was even lower but managed to scrape her way back up and it's nice to see because today the wind is a little bit from the right so the left side because it's a bowl it works a little bit better uh, and she was coming all the way here to the takeoff and a bit further to the house and losing height and the guys landed because they went beyond the house so she would come here, lose height from the takeoff all the way to there, and then go back that way, be able to scrape back up. And it's nice to see that now she's going as far as she can that way to get lift. And then as she was coming here, she stopped halfway, kind of where she is now, and turned back where those cars are. Which is really nice because it shows that even though she doesn't have a vario, she can feel where the best lift is and she's not spending any time over here that is sub-optimal. Well done Gemma, well done. So how was it? It was good. I definitely feel better about flying it now. I just can't stress enough how important it is to ground handle with something first. I felt so much better just for doing half an hour of ground handling before I took off. I still think that a high ENB is out of my range because I do think that it still feels too talkative, as you call it, or too unstable and there's a lot to... I feel like there's a lot more controlling and a lot more active flying needed to keep it up but I do think that um, I'm quite happy where I am on my Geo 6, <laughs> my yeah. little B. And a lot of people say you should only step up a wing once you've mastered everything on the previous class. Oh yeah, I've still got a lot so to learn on my Geo 6. So you have 6. to still expand the envelope first, maybe even do an SIV. And see, how yeah. you, and see how the wing really reacts before you decide to go higher. Yeah, definitely. It's really good if you know your own wing, yeah. I think. Yeah, I agree. So that's it for this video. Uh, as always, we'd like to thank all these lovely people on Patreon and YouTube memberships for supporting our channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha!